It's time to see the world through 2020 vision. There are still people in 2020 believing in this cartoon model where the earth is a ball spinning in space. Seriously? The heliocentric model is just a cartoon model as represented here and in other CGI models. That's all it is. It was thought of by fantasists and creators of fiction. It has no bearing on real life. Today, this fiction carries on, it continues. They tell us about ludicrous things such as multiverses, string theory, black holes, dark energy, moon bases and setting up colonies on Mars. This belongs in science fiction. The sheep will lap it all up. They are being conditioned to think in a certain way. They have no critical thinking. They reject the truth, the obvious, and believe in the fantastical and the fantasy. So, if I think this heliocentric model is a work of fiction and fantasy, then it's my duty to tell you the truth, how the real cosmology works. First of all, you must understand that there are no planets. You cannot go and colonize planet Mars because it is not terra firma, it is not a solid, solid object. Everything in the sky are luminaries, they are just lights. The main purpose of this video is to inform you that the solar eclipses and the transit of Mercury and Venus is the same phenomena. Okay, I'll give you a couple of minutes to, to laugh it off. Um, laugh as much as you want. So let's go to time and date com, the gatekeepers of the heliocentric model. And it asks what is a transit? And it answers, every so often a planet lines up in a way that blocks out part of the sun's rays from reaching Earth. This is known as a planet transit. The only two planets that can be trans trans transiting the sun from Earth are Venus and Mercury because they are the only planets that orbit inside Earth orbit. Wrong. Like I said previously, there are no planets. You cannot visit these planets, uh, you cannot go to Mercury, Venus on a rocket ship. That is impossible. Time and date calm also has given us the solar and lunar eclipses worldwide for the next 10 years. 
they have this data because they know the trajectory, the orbit of the of the, of the bodies that are in the sky. You have to know the the trajectory of the of the sun and the the black sun, which I call uh, the negative sun. It's not the moon that eclipses the sun, nor is it planet Mercury or Venus that transits the sun. There is another object another body in the so in, in in the sky that is what i call the anti sun which is negative to our positive sun everything in nature therefore creation has duality like the famous yin and yang sign everything is duplicated man woman negative positive black white only god our creator is unique he is one all creation has duality. The real sun is that black object in the sky. If you look at the what I call the halo around the sun, that's what we see when we look at the sun from our vantage point in the northern hemisphere. This footage is filmed from the Antarctic. This is actually a footage from Casey Station in Antarctic. And that black object is the real sun, the actual sun. And that halo, that bright spot around it, is what we actually see when we look at the sun from the northern hemisphere or where the majority of humans live. This is a footage from uh, timeanddate.com where they streamed quote transit of mercury which is uh, which is not mercury uh, on uh, 11th and 12th of November 2019 you must remember and understand that uh, the Sun is going towards the Tropic of uh, Capricorn so it is further away when we look at it from the North Northern Hemisphere it is going away from us going towards the uh, Tropic of Capricorn and after the December solstice it will turn around and come back towards us towards the Tropic of Cancer so you have to take perspective into account and if you look at the bottom left hand corner it has the um, the details it has the Sun the outline of the sun which I call the halo which is not the actual sun uh, and the position of uh, Mercury where it should be uh, look at the the altitude it's only 20 degrees 20.8283 degrees above the horizon and it this is broadcast from Los Angeles, California, Griffith uh, Observatory and it, it's morning there, it's uh, it's about 7 o'clock, 7.30, 7.45 a.m. 
and look at the direction as well it's 129.54 degrees southeast from LA so they're looking at the Sun uh, um, just over the horizon and this black object that uh, black thing is the object that eclipses the Sun also transits the Sun it's the same body um, it depends on the the time of year and its transit its um, trajectory where it is in the sky and these people they have calculated they know the the minute details of where these bodies should be this is how they predict solar eclipses and transits etc this is not rocket science people this is logic reasoning and common sense there is no heliocentric model so we have to provide an alternative to that cartoon model when you look at it look at this uh, through 2020 vision you have clarity you will see the real world 